Right, so here's just um, a bit more detail about the um, like circle peak gesture. So you can see on the side here, um, the red dot you're following is just me kind of, you know, in a 360 motion, even just in a very small amount of movement, just being able to quickly pan through um, all the photos. You know, above me it's telling me that it's Spain, so I still have context of what I'm peeking at. Um, it's blurred out the other two, it's telling me it's $300 per night, it's five rooms, three beds. So I'm able to make, you know, a quick decision and kind of just, you know, peek in on that property and have a bit of a look and go, yeah, you know, um, it, it looks it looks quite nice. Um, that's that's definitely the kind of property I'm looking for. Now I'm happy to dive a bit deeper and, um, and, and kind of see a bit more about that property um, without having to go back in, out, in, out um, all the time. So that was generally the, the idea I was exploring and it was good to just be able to mock it up um, have it still feel like it fits in with the MVB app. So if I let go, um, it, it kind of falls back. Um, if I'm not, you know, playing around in that circle motion, and it drops back in a similar way that it does with the the standard zoom as you're going kind of in and out of that that Spain listing. Um, I try between which I'll show next. Like, should I blur the two side images um, and I kind of scale those back a bit, or should I just drop the opacity? Um, it actually felt better when I tried it on the TV to blur it and to not do an opacity effect. Um, it was just far easier to focus on the content at hand. Um, so that was far more effective, but it was good to try both um, really quickly and kind of ascertain that. Um, so this again is just, you know, some of the great benefits of just, you know, just trying, keeping on trying, tweaking, um, and just having a really open mind and, and trying these kinds of ideas.